You were just listening to Mr. Marchione speak. How has the reception been so far? Uh, you know, the reception has been pretty good. He's been mingling a lot with the investors uh, who are uh, in the room sort of hanging on his every word, and he's got his entire coterie of, of chiefs of all of his brands with him, and he brings them in to give various presentations. Now, the most uh, interesting mosaic points so far, I think, have been the Italian uh, parts, especially Alfa Romeo. This is a car company which has a storied past but has uh, done pretty poorly in the last few decades, and now now he wants to bring it back. He's going to do it very slowly here in this country. He's only bringing a thousand of their first model, the 4C. It's a sprightly little sports car. Uh, only going to bring a thousand of those uh, cars to us this year in the U.S. But over the next few years, he wants to not only restore the brand to its former glory, but also massively boost sales. He expects to sell 400,000 of them in 2018 and introduce eight new models with over five billion euros worth of of investment. So a real push to bring Alfa Romeo back into the fold and make it more than just an aspirational luxury brand, but really a, a mainstream high-end brand like Audi and like BMW. That's going to be a huge part of the story. And a lot of people have wondered where the money's going to come from for the investment. Uh, Ferrari, we thought maybe an IPO, maybe a sale of the unit. It's one of the most recognizable brands in the entire world. But he said, uh, make no mistake, we will not be selling Ferrari. Ferrari is not for sale. So that really answers a question that we've been asking Sergio for a number of years now. And he was very definitive about the fact that uh, Ferrari, although he said it's worth, you know, 9 to 12 billion euros, maybe even more, uh, it's, it's not going to be up on the block, Mark. D Matt, uh, what about the American brands? Did we hear anything about that? Yeah, a lot. You know, they've been very successful with their Jeep sales, incredibly successful, and it's a very high margin uh, brand for them. They want to expand that also more than double sales of Jeep from uh, over 700,000 in, in 2013 to almost 2 million in 2018. But they've had trouble, uh, really struggled with Chrysler and Dodge as far as sort of defining these brands and and and. Uh, putting some growth into them. Chrysler, they want to aim at kind of a mainstream American. They said it's not luxury, uh, uh, but it's also not low low cost. Uh, so they're going to make that the mainstream uh, brand for middle America. And then Dodge, they're going to make kind of an edgier, sportier brand. Take away the caravan, take away the Avengers so that Chrysler can sell those segments, but really make it kind of an edgy brand. It seems uh, pretty interesting, but a very ambitious uh, plan.